In tonight's Health Watch, an exciting development in cancer vaccines, but not to prevent cancer. These are meant to turn on the immune system to kill cancer that's already there. CBS Dr. Max Gomez tells us this vaccine assembles itself inside the body. That's right. And, you know, the immune system is what normally protects us from cancer. But cancer cells sometimes learn how to hide from the immune system. They put on the Harry Potter cloak of invisibility. But researchers are learning how to strip that cloak off and turn on the immune system to kill cancer. I had a limp on my neck, uh, which was initially not that big and then noticeable. That was Sergei Yerman's only real symptom, but it turned out to be lymphoma, a cancer of the white blood cells of the immune system. He had a low-grade lymphoma, which sounds like a good thing, but... Low-grade lymphomas, ironically, uh, they, they don't hurt you as quickly, but we don't have a cure for them. So that's really our purpose, is to develop cures for low-grade lymphomas. To develop a cure, Dr. Joshua Brody, the director of lymphoma immunotherapy at Mount Sinai, has worked out a way to make a vaccine that will help the body's own immune system recognize the cancer cells and kill them. Start to think of cancer as though it were an infection so that it can be eliminated. Sergey was one of the first patients in a just-published clinical trial. Dr. Brody and colleagues focused on the master cell of the immune system called the dendritic cell. That's a cell that presents the recognizable characteristics of a cancer cell to the killer cells of the immune system, T cells. It's a three-part process. A drug is injected into a tumor to recruit dendritic cells. Then a low dose of radiation releases some of the unique cancer markers so the master cells can display them. And then another drug activates those dendritic cells. The immune killer cells now know what the cancer cells look like. They travel throughout the body, attacking other tumor sites and causing the tumors to melt away. Patients are getting partial and complete remissions, and those remissions are lasting for months and years. Now, this was a small preliminary trial, so it can't be called a cure. But Dr. Brody is already starting a trial combining the vaccine with other immunotherapy drugs, like the one that has kept Jimmy Carter alive with metastatic melanoma. Animal results in the lab have been much more powerful than either approach alone. And this whole area of immunotherapy for cancer is quite is the hottest area in cancer mm -hmm. research right now. It's turning on our own system to go after the cancer. It's like they're on a mission. They've been sent out on a mission to take out the exactly. cells. Exactly, yeah. The dendritic cells show them, you know, this is like, this is the poster in the in the uh, post office. This is what the this cancer the cell looks like. Now go out <laughs> and get, get it. That's yep. great. Exactly. That's what it works. It's like this is the suspect. Don't it. Most wanted. Most wanted. That's extraordinary. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, Dr. You're Max. Unbelievable.